Hiya guys. Please pray for me and Philip. Um, we could ju we just had it off camera. I think you might have seen it on the end of the last video, but we had a woman coming up to me, following me around, and telling me, telling me what we're doing is so wrong and all this lot. And, um, you know, and as soon as we start, please pray. Um, I mean, I just forgive that lady. I forgive us immediately. I don't want to lay it on my heart. I don't take no offence, but she just, um, I told her straight, I said, you've just been sent by the devil. That's what I said, because I knew oh, no, exactly what, what happened. Um, and now Philip's saying there's another lady coming now. Well, I don't know. Well, let's see. I just rebuke this attack upon this device right now in the name of Jesus and I pray Father you turn it around and make this equipment sound in Jesus name, Amen thank you Lord for your name's sake and your glory's sake in Jesus name what's the chances of that? Amen. she just walked past, it's that lady, that other lady the other day that tried stopping us she's gone past all the yes, we get this all the time now but may the Lord give us strength to let go and handle this one of my, um, Jesus is coming. Look at him, loving Jesus. No, that lady tried to attack him in first and just come up with all this stuff and just try to say the Lord to give us no No, she was. They're really foul, some people, you know. They, they try to come up and, and try to make a show that they're doing it in their love, but really, it's not at all. It's, it's twisted and, 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 and sick. It really is. Uh, Anyway, I'm not letting it get to me too much, don't worry. God bless you, y'all. Me and Brother Philip have come here to tell you how much God loves you. We've come here to tell you how simple it is to be saved and know that you are going to heaven and not going down to hell for eternity. Because the Bible says that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that we're the wages of sin is death but the free gift of god is everlasting eternal life through jesus christ our lord the bible says there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood so god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son jesus that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life God gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to be a sacrifice for us, to shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sin, past, present and future sin. He was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day, which is the blessed gospel. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. That is the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life. Saved, sealed, sanctified, saved from going down to hell, granted a place in paradise above, a mansion in the heavens. And the only requirement is that you believe the gospel. It's not about anything you must do apart from believe on the one who did it all. Jesus, who died on the cross, who shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins. He was buried, he rose again on the third day, which is a gospel. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. That you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead. You will be saved. That's how simple salvation is. It's, it's not about anything else apart from believing on what Jesus has already done. It's not about being religious and it doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. But he also said, unless you repent and believe, you will all perish. Repent therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent therefore, because the kingdom of God is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation. The decision where you spend eternity lies in your court. The ball is in your court. 
are you going to receive or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ? Because your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine where you spend your eternity. And God wants none to perish in hell. God wants all to be saved and all can be saved. No matter who we are, no matter what we have done, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Don't take the gamble that Jesus is not who he says he is. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man shall come to the Father in heaven but through me. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Jesus is the door to your salvation. Jesus is the only door that leads to heaven and not down to hell. Please repent, change your minds because Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Unless you change your minds from your own belief and believe the good news of the gospel, you will indeed perish. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you. He doesn't want you to spend eternity in hell and to darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. Lay hold of your salvation. God wants you in heaven, in paradise, where you will have everlasting joy upon your head. And the decision where you spend eternity lies within your heart. Whether you will believe the gospel, whether you will receive the gospel, or you will reject it. I pray you do not reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. God is offering you this day, if you haven't already done so, God is offering every single day salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the only requirement for you to be saved is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. That Jesus was indeed crucified on that cross for all our sins. He shed his blood for the remission of all our sin, past, present and future sin. He was buried on the third day. He rose again from the dead. And when you believe that and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. This is the only requirement for you to be saved, sealed, sanctified, saved from going down to hell, given a place in heaven. And Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish in hell. Unless you believe on the Son of God, Jesus Christ, you will indeed perish. And Jesus said, unless you change your minds, unless you repent, you will perish. Please repent therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, the kingdom of God is at hand. This is a matter of life and death, this is a matter of heaven and hell, and it all comes down to your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for anyone and everyone that believes. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and no man shall see the Father in heaven but through me. Please repent, change your minds, turn to the very one who loves you, who could write your name in heaven, grant you everlasting life and a place in heaven, but it's all down to you whether or not you repent. Change your mind. Acknowledge. Yes, I have need of a saviour. Go to Jesus. Believe on his death, his burial, his resurrection, that he paid the debt in full for all your sin. Call upon him and you will be saved. And he will baptise you in his Holy Spirit, which will be with you forever. And you will never lose your salvation. Please repent. Lay hold of your salvation. There is an open door for you right now. 
Jesus is holding the door open to you and saying, will you come in? Will you let me give you my free gift, which is everlasting life? Jesus is knocking on the door of your hearts right now. Please do not reject the very one who loves you, who can grant you everlasting life in the kingdom of paradise. Lay hold of your salvation. It's not about being religious. It doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. But he also said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at stake. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation. This is so important. Right now, every one of you are listening to the most important message that you will ever, ever hear in this life. And it is the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for all our sins. He was buried. He rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent and believe, you will all perish. God isn't willing that you perish. Please, the living God loves you. The one who gave you your life. He wants you to return to him. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and unto our God. For he will abundantly pardon. Return unto the Lord. Repent. Change your minds. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because your soul depends on it. Your eternal dwelling place depends whether or not you will accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ. And his free gift which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said unless you repent you will all perish. Unless you repent you will find yourself in hell please we have come here to tell you you don't have to go down to hell you can believe the gospel it's not about being religious and it doesn't matter what you have done it's not about anything you must do apart from believing on what Jesus Christ has already done Jesus died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He rose again according to the scriptures. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved and your name shall be written in heaven. Repent. Lay hold of your salvation. I just spoke to a man called Gary. Um, Please pray for his salvation. I think he might be, he might be getting saved. Very interested. He used to be a Jehovah's Witness, and um, he's very, very interested. Gave him, I told him everything. I witnessed to him. I gave him my testimony and told him everything. I think he might be born again. He was quite happy. I think, I think he might have believed in his heart there and then. So pray that he be, pray that he be born again, as I told him. That was nice. Like that man came. That nice man came to us after that nasty woman. God uh, sent us some relief, you know. Yes. It's, uh... Anyway, here we go. Keep carry on. God bless you, York. We have come here to tell you how much the living God, the almighty El Shaddai, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that therein is, that keeps truth forever. He loves you and he wants you in the kingdom of God. He wants you in the kingdom of heaven. God wants none to perish in hell and all can be saved, no matter who they are, no matter what they have done. But the Bible says we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. We all have sinned. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ for anyone and everyone who believes. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man is going to make it to heaven but through Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. 
Enter in through Jesus Christ, the door to your salvation, the only door to enter into heaven and escape the damnation of hell. And the choice is up to you. Jesus will not turn you away if you go to him in truth. But he said, unless you repent, you will all perish. It's a matter of heaven and hell. It's a matter of life and death. Your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus, the very one who could write your name in heaven and grant you everlasting life. Your decision to accept or reject him will determine where you spend your eternity. There is a heaven and there is a hell. Why wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is? Because it will be too late then. Lay hold of your salvation now. You are not guaranteed your next breath. You're not guaranteed to be here in an hour's time. Lay hold of your eternal destination and salvation by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again, according to the scriptures, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Please repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation. Change your minds. Lay hold of your salvation. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. There is no other name under heaven by which we can be saved. Jesus, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no man shall see the Father in heaven but through me. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Please. Please accept the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anyone and everyone who believes God loves you so much. We haven't come here to judge you. We haven't come here to condemn you. We've come here to tell you how much God loves you. We've come here to tell you how simple it is to enter into the kingdom of heaven. We've come here to tell you that it's not about being religious. We've come here to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved and enter into heaven and escape the damnation of hell by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. That if you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is for you to know you're saved, going to heaven, saved from the damnation of hell. That's how simple it is. A two-year-old child could understand Believe on Jesus, his death, his burial, his resurrection from the cross and call upon him and you will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about being religious. Lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Unless you repent, you will perish in hell. Please don't wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is. God has made the heavens. He's made the earth. There is a place called hell, which God made originally for the fallen angels. But mankind has been just as wicked. And that's where people go who reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. There is a very living place called hell, which is called outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is everlasting torments, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die, where the fire never goes out. It's called hell, Sheol, Hades, and your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine if you spend eternity in heaven or in hell. Repent, therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Your eternal security depends on whether you are going to reject or accept the Lord Jesus Christ. 
who said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and no man shall enter in through heaven, but through me. Lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Repent comes from the Greek word metanoia, and it means to change your mind from your unbelief and believe the gospel that Jesus took the penalty in full on the cross for all your sin, according to the scriptures. He was buried, he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. When you believe that and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my works in this sinful and adulterous generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. This world is about to change any moment now and the Lord Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first and then all Christians which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air in the rapture and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus lay hold of your salvation be taken up to heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind. You will still be able to be saved if you find yourself left behind when the rapture takes place. When you witness all these people suddenly vanish and suddenly disappear. All these people, you will still be able to be saved. But you must not take the mark of the beast. Because at any moment now, when all Christians suddenly vanish, the great tribulation will start and this one world leader will come on the world stage proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world. He will proclaim himself to be the Messiah, but he is the false Christ. He is the Antichrist and he will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, the mark of the beast, 666. You will not be able to buy or sell anything unless you have that mark. But once you take that mark, you are sealing your fate and you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. God forbid that this should happen to any one of you. Lay hold of your salvation. Please be humble enough to acknowledge your need for a saviour, Jesus, because the Bible says we all have sinned, we all fall short of the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death, the destruction of the soul, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anyone and everyone who believes. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Lay hold of your salvation. It's so important because you are more than flesh and bones. You have a spirit and a soul inside you. You, are, you have an eternal soul inside you. And your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, will determine where you spend eternity, heaven or hell. And the choice is yours. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Please lay hold of your salvation. Your eternity depends on whether you will accept or reject the Lord Jesus, the great God of the whole world. Your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God will determine where you spend eternity. 
the most important message that you will ever hear is the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is that Jesus died for all our sins according to the scriptures, past, present and future sins when you believe. He was buried and rose again on the third day, which is the blessed gospel. And if you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. It's the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life, granted a place in paradise above and escape the damnation of hell. But Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your mind and believe the simple gospel, you will perish, you will find yourself in hell. Please repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. God loves you. It's so simple to be saved. I'm telling you now, it's not about being religious. And it doesn't matter what you have done. Lay hold of your salvation. Go to Jesus, because he has promised that he will not turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. The Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the remission, for the forgiveness, for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. He shed his blood for all our sin. He was buried. He rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent and change your mind, you will all perish. For there is no other name under heaven given on men by which we can be saved. Stop this video, I'm just told. Thank you guys, love you.